All right, it's back to Armored Chocobo. Like I promised, I wanted to do something a bit more off kilter this time. And by off kilter, I mean time for astronomy lessons. Except the name Earth is completely wrong. And for some reason, yeah, the planets can talk. And the stars. Life is pain. Build a new era by getting pregnant every billion years. There's a test. I'm gonna fail this test a lot. Wait. I hope it doesn't mean what I think it means. I hope it's a business partner and not the other kind. And those planets are completely wrong. What kind of order is this? Look at that. There's Mercury. Then we have Venus. Then for some reason Earth is out by Jupiter. What the heck? Let's play? Really slow text. Oh. Evo, The Search for Eden. Yeah, it's made by Enix in 1993. That Enix. You know, the Final Fantasy one. Before it became Square Enix. 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 Whatever. Alright, let's get started. Of course, it's licensed by Nintendo. It's for an SNES. And by Nintendo, it means it's going to make no sense whatsoever. We already got somebody talking to us. Hey, lady, your hair is tripping. Yes, this is a... I guess you could call it scientific. We're going to learn something in this video. We're going to learn things that are completely wrong about life. So your father gave you the ability to have kids, and then you tr test these kids, and they marry you. Incest much? And I'm a fish, for absolutely no reason at all. It took three billion years to be that way. Okay, yeah. Thanks for making me a fish. The world before land. This is like the land before time, but this is the world before land. And we got like maybe Super Mario Brothers 3 kind of stage system going on. Gotta beat a level before you can go to the next one. And the first few levels are pretty much a tutorial. Look at me, I'm a fish. Wee! Hey, buddy. Wanted to find out how to progress in this game? You eat everything. Ah! Don't talk to me. I want to eat you. Wait for... No, I'm going to kill you for the fun of it. And then I'm going to eat you for food. No. You're going to be afraid of me in a moment. You are weak and flabby. Okay, one moment. Yeah. I had cheats on and I was playing around with this before and one moment. I think I kinda of broke the game a little bit. Alright, I'm back. Yeah, I had I was doing test videos of this before. And hey, buddy, I'm talking. And I didn't want to die, so I turned on my cheats. Now kill you properly. That's right. You are now food. Food gives you points, and it also gives you a little bit of health. And the health is proportional to how weak you are. So the weaker you are, the more health you get. Plants also give you health the same way. Pretty much we just eat our way to victory. 
and just eat jellyfish to victory. I haven't dealt with jellyfish, unlike other Let's Players. Oh, and we could do this. Whee! Absolutely no use. Not yet, anyway. Because we are fish, and there is no land. Except for- wait, there's a landmass up there. Okay, how is it the, the land without land? Land without land. The Cave of Guidance. Now we learned how to eat things. But we have other things to learn. By going in a cave. Caves are where you learn. In the past. And there's giant tapeworms for no reason. They take three hits. But they give us more points. A lot of this game is going to be running around and eating, so I'm going to be uh, Later it gets kind of horrendous how much points you have to get. The cucumbers are talking. So, yeah. Uh, later on in the game, I'm going to off-screen any points grinding. Yellow gems are tutorial gems. They tell you things. Hello, Crystal. My name is Armored Chocobo. Oh, I'm pretty much really squishy fish. Horns are not as fun as you think they are. Horns break after three hits. And they're really only good for cheesing the game. I'll show you that later. As the bosses get harder. The bosses are kind of range from ridiculously easy to monstrously hard. You, buddy, you are dinner. Thank you. We have 200 Evo points. I think we could do something with those. Time for our first evolution. Or what I do? Wow, I didn't know I could do that. Interesting. I hit the, the right shoulder button, and it made me skip the stage. Okay, this is how we evolve. We want Jaws. Jaws are attack power. Look at that, we got a new face. We got new teeth. We got death going on. We could eat faster. Jaws are your number one priority. Second most priority? Tails. We want to move faster. These guys are great for farming. I think I'm going to stick around here for a little bit. At least until I get quite a few points. Ooh, a red gem! Red gems change you into something else. Watch! What are we? That's either an eel or some kind of manta ray. Either way, he actually kind of looks kind of cool. The red gems always make you look like some kind of awesome animal. Usually appropriate for the zone. But you're only one for a short period of time, so I'm going to capitalize on eating the crap out of these guys. You die. Little green slug things. It's what's for dinner. Oh no! Doesn't work very long. And the meat doesn't stay around for very long either. Okay, we got 300 points. Let's try something. Uh, hands and feet in this era really don't do anything to make you look cool. I want better tail. Tails make you move faster, and later on they make you jump higher. You'll see that. Okay, that's the end of this level. Pretty much you grab the red gem and you're done. I'll hit the R1 button. Get out of here. I call it the R1 because I have a PlayStation style controller. I guess I'll get one more level in. The last tutorial level. Oh. I guess those two, three levels were the tutorial levels. This is where we get into serious eating. I'll come back here later, but first you kind of have to 
to wait. There's like a little internal timer. So I have to chase around these guys. Soon though, I will not have to chase around these guys. These guys will be at the main chorus and die. Get back here. That's right. You will not be going home to your wife and kids. Get back here! No! Do not avoid me! I am your lord and master! Ah. Like mini Jaws, but no. Jaws the second. Actually, it would be Jaws' grandfather, wouldn't it? You. And you. Can I evolve anything else yet? I don't think so. I think they need 500 points for Jaws and 800 points for a certain horn I want to get. Usually I'll abstain from getting horns unless I really need to. But the 800 point horn? Very useful. Oh no! Earthquake! There's an explosion! And it hurts! Oh god, does it hurt! You gotta wait till that level starts erupting before you can leave. Alright, I'm gonna go farm some points. I'm gonna get the second best jaw here. I'm gonna get the, the horn. And I'll see you guys later.